Hello everyone, my name is Rutias Fudur and this is a project presentation on uh, emotion recognition for Kazakh British Technical University machine learning course. We're going to follow this outline, we're going to tell about ourselves, about our problem, uh, the data set we used, metric we used, and our solution, and then we want to follow to the conclusion. Um, my name is Rutias Funur, and we both worked uh, with my friend Shaman Khan Ali Khan on this project. The problem is to identify the emotion based on camera input. The, I, the idea is to do it in a video streaming, so it means uh, to identify emotion in real time. Uh, for, for doing that, we take an image, as you can see on the left, and uh, we want to put it uh, into the classification model to identify landmarks and therefore identify emotions. As you can see, this uh, landmark detector finds for us the uh, landmarks of the left, right eyebrow, uh, eyes, lips, and nose tip. Uh, these landmarks are very crucial for uh, emotion recognition because uh, in this particular problem we want to uh, use Euclidean distances. So the abstract, why do we do that? First, it helps to um, uh, for human and computer interaction. And um, this, research, this research and project is important because it helps in psychological aspect uh, because some people cannot identify emotions or someone's intentions, but um, uh, the IE or computer can do it uh, perfectly, so you don't have to pay attention on that. It can use also marketing research. Um, basically, the idea is to put a camera on a, you know, on a store and see whether your customers left happy or angry or sad. For this problem, we used OpenCV library, uh, media pipe for landmark detection, uh, deep learning and machine learning techniques for feature extraction and uh, flask application for emotional detection in real time video streaming so as you can see the emotion distribution is uh, various uh, here we have seven emotions um, but as you can see the least emotion is for dis disgusting mm, so we decided to remove it and another one Another problem was between uh, fear and surprise. Unfortunately, their facial expression were too close, too similar, and the model produced uh, low accuracy on both of this emotion. So we decided to remove it too and just stick to the five main emotions, such as angriness, uh, happiness, uh, neutral, sadness, and uh, surprise. Uh, in our final data set, we have five emotions uh, where there are about uh, 30,000 images where each emotion had at least 1,000 or more images. Uh, we split our data into um, 24,000 training images and uh, 6,000 testing images. Our uh, image dimension is 48, 48 to 3 channels which is width, height, and uh, channels. Uh, as you can see on this image, uh, here is a just sample of uh, the data set. You can see uh, that these images are clearly seen, that the emotions are expressed by people are uh, clear. And uh, hu any human can uh, identify these emotions, so uh, we hope that uh, the computer vision technique will uh, do it good as well. So here we then extract a label marks uh, from the image. We do it with the media pipe library or dlib library. Um, as you can see, they produce the label marks of eyes, eyebrows, nose, and lips. The same as for the second image. Uh, if we use media pipe, uh, here is an option to uh, that it also returns you not only x and y coordinates that is the location of the landmark of the particular point on the three, 2D uh, plane, but it also gives 
in returns uh, z coordinate which is the uh, relative depth of a uh, particular landmark as you, as you can see on the on the right here is a 3d representation of the image of the image landmarks uh, here is uh, another picture so we can see that even even looking at the landmarks uh, you can already identify what emotion it is. Uh, it perfectly mm, expresses the uh, face, facial emotion. Um, here is also an example uh, uh, of media pipe library output on the image from the data set. This is, this is a surprised emotion. Uh, here you see that it produces about uh, 468 landmarks, which is uh, which is a lot. So we leave only 92, 92 points, which is uh, which I already said about uh, lips, eyebrows, and nose tip. Also, media pipe can connect these points, and you can uh, output the mask. Um, here is uh, the 3D representation of the last previous image. Uh, here is the presentation of uh, 92 left landmarks and what we do in this research in this research and project is to recognize the motion by the euclidean distances from the tip of the nose so you can see that a lot of uh, um, uh, lines are co connected between nose tip and every every uh, landmark so we do that for both uh, 3d and 2d Mm, mask. So here we use uh, three coordinates, which are uh, x, y, and z, for for uh, distance calculation. Here we use only x and y. So totally, it's uh, 92 plus 92 is uh, 182 uh, distance. Sorry. For metric calculation, we used uh, accuracy. So it requires us to have true positive, true negative, false positive, and false negative. Uh, because we have five motions, um, we need to uh, adjust these uh, formulas for multi-class classification. So basically, it's the same form formulas, but you have to find the average of them. Uh, as you can see, it is the summation of, of accuracies divided by the number of classes and this is, is this happens for all of the uh, all of the metrics um, we move to CNN it's a convolutional neural network and the solution we, we had here is a PyTorch um, we can use any other um, um, library or framework you would like before that, before feeding it to CNN, we need to do augmentation. Uh, we did augmentation on grayscale. Uh, then we did random horizontal flips and color jitter. Uh, so you can see that bottom two images have different um, colors. So uh, it's more uh, lighter and this is more darker. So what are our solution? Our solution is split into two. Uh, first is to choose a um, base based on CNN, and another one is based on landmarks. So first, I want to talk about CNN. It's more it's easier. So we take the our data set. We try to do augmentation, uh, fit um, our images to their um, CNN model. Um, it's based on uh, deep learning and computer vision. Uh, we do about more than uh, 100 epochs. Our learning rate max is about uh, 0 0.001. And um, here are just the um, hyperparameters uh, or parameters that we used for our CNN. And most important, that we, our result was about 60% accuracy on taste uh, test data 
another solution is based on landmarks. So we, after we computed uh, the distances like this, we did, we put each distance uh, into the data frame, uh, for example, CSV file, uh, exported to CSV file, and then we feed it to our machine learning and deep learning models. In this uh, time, we used MLP, it's multi-layer uh, perceptron, <clears throat> uh, which are fully connected neural network and uh, and machine learning models such as gradient boosting decision tree, logistic regression, KNN, CSVM, um, and decision tree, random forest, and other uh, techniques. So our result was similar similar to 60%, about 60%. You can see that uh, all of them produce different accuracies. We uh, put here the best parameters we find found out by the grid search. Uh, the highest accuracy was given by MLP, multi-layer perceptron, while the lowest given by decision, just single decision tree. The ensemble of uh, decision tree, which is random forest and gradient boosting, produced us uh, close to 55%. Uh, so here I want to just tell you the random forest. Uh, for example, we have mm, a lot of images and um, we train it on our random forest uh, classifier. Each, uh, there are several such forests. Um, uh, on the ensemble and each produces each output and the final result is calculated by both. So here is example like uh, happy happy and surprise so our final result will be happy. So well n estimators here was uh, just three. Um, and here are the accuracies that I already put on the table. And as you can see on the bottom, he, here is uh, the architecture of MLP, multi-layer perceptron. Um, it has mm, about 12,000 12, parameters and it gives us 60% accuracy output. As you can see on the graph, uh, it reaches about 60% and the learning, uh, learning rate uh, curve two. So basically it means that the learning rate was adaptive. Uh, so it, it was raising um, until a certain point and then dropped uh, by the end of the training. Uh, here is just a uh, the presentation of convolutional neural network. You have different images and on each um, convolution uh, the next layer is being calculated. Uh, we didn't, we used, so we used um, max pooling, um, uh, batch normalization and uh, activation functions in order to improve our accuracy. So as a conclusion, we reached our desired output. We, uh, we were able to build the application, which I'm gonna show you later. And we did significantly uh, good results because uh, the, the identification of single emotion uh, is about one of uh, fifths uh, probability, but we reach 60% probability, which is a pretty good result for a university project. So hope this helps someone in the future. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, hello everyone again. Uh, here is a presentation of uh, the FAST application that was built for a motion cognition project. As you can see, uh, here is a website. 
um, which has several options like stop and start detecting um, predicting capture my face which is basically doing screenshot of this little box uh, face only it recognizes only your face like that uh, start and stop recording is a recording of this uh, screen but I'm doing recording right now so I will not do it as you can see on the model here is uh, my face which is on to, to, to the left um, and here is a special blue box that uh, covers my face it's based on hard cascade so um, after it detects the face it, it gives me a rectangle which I am cropping and given to the model here we have three models which is CNN, MLP and gradient boosting decision tree uh, basically that's um, uh, that's it so let's uh, see how everything works first start with CNN uh, let's do several emotions like uh, we discussed on the presentation now my face is neutral uh, neutral is a purple purple color so you can see it's biggest one uh, let's smile smiling uh, smiling is a uh, yellow color happiness sadness is gray uh, angriness is uh, red and uh, and orange is a uh, surprise it's kind of good but let's see other models let's move to MLP multi-layer perceptron let's smile let's be angry um, let's be neutral So as you saw, the model does its uh, very good job on MLP. Let's go to gradient boosting, gradient boosting decision tree. Let's smile. Let's be neutral. Let's be angry. Let's surprise. Let's be sad. Oh, that's uh, all. Um, about this um, fast application so as a conclusion I want to say that we reach the desired output we can identify uh, the emotion based on the video streaming as you can see when I don't do any emotions when I speak it tries to equalize all the probabilities so each uh, pa each part tries to become equal yeah now I'm neutral yeah, it tries to equalize it. So thank you very much for listening to me. I think that's uh, it. That's uh, a presentation of uh, application. We reached uh, good results on CNN, on MLP, and gradient boosting. Thank you very much.